bunch of people went to uh, Day Road, Free Elm Festa. Some of the things we did were we went to uh, the police station where they uh, showed us missiles that were fired from Gaza to, into Stay Road. Then they brought us to a room uh, where they showed us a couple videos on Stay Road and what's going on. And then, um, then uh, we went to uh, like a hilltop where we uh, saw Gaza on Stay Road. Um, and then obviously the Fesser aspect where we, uh, we, we uh, cleaned up a certain area and painted uh, for, for, uh, for teenagers. But uh, what really hit me was when we went to uh, the park. Um, you know, there were swings, there were slides, and then there was just like one huge caterpillar. It was like cement caterpillar. I thought it was like, you know, a tunnel for the kids to play with or something. And then he explained that it was actually a, a bomb shelter. Um, that was, uh, you know, painted to look like a caterpillar because that's something that's kid friendly, I guess. So that's when it struck me, like, how, how, when did this become acceptable uh, to live in this type of reality, and how uh, they, and how, um, how it's crazy that they, that they, uh, that you know, even the smallest things for them, like going to the park, can turn out to be a nightmare. Another thing uh, that hit me was when I asked the question, uh, like, you know, thousands of rockets were fired from Gaza to Stay Road, and it seems to know that like a lot of them. I guess missed their target, so I asked him why, why did a lot miss their target, and he said that's not that's not true. That, um, that you know there are full blocks in State Road that have been that houses have been hit with direct hits, but they're not in the news. Why? Because there have been no casualties, and why have there been no casualties? Because uh, Israel spent half a billion dollars, um, you know, on security for their citizens. So uh, one thing I think that we should take out of this is um, to you know appreciate the small things in life. Thank you.